Hi everyone, how are you? Thank you so much for joining us once again. Uh, my name is Andy from Mbayote Sound and I'm so excited that you could be able to join us for yet another episode. Thank you so much. Uh, the last episode we were talking about how to match amplifiers to speakers and I got so many questions on what if we are connecting many other speakers uh, with the same amplifier or what if we are what we call looping, what if we are looping our speakers, how are you going to count the words and the ohms of that. And then and now I'm making a video on the same to answer your questions and thank you so much for asking that and I'm sure we are going to have an amazing class. So there are different ways of connecting your speakers or looping your speakers. Number one is series speaker connection. So number two is parallel speaker connection. And then number three is series plus parallel speaker connection. So today we are going to check, not today, for now we are going to check uh, series speaker connection. And for example, we have our amplifier here. You remember an amplifier, our amplifier has two channels, A and B. So whatever we are going to do on channel A is the same on channel B that can be done. So we have our positive and negative uh, channels or terminals. Uh, our positive is usually red and our negative black. So we have two speakers here. Uh, each speaker is 350 watts. 8 ohms, 350 watts, 8 ohms. So we want to know how many speakers uh, in what connection will we be able to will be able to be accommodated in this amplifier. So we I also wrote some speaker manual here. So for example, I have a speaker that is 8 ohms at 45 watts, 4 ohms at 800 watts, 2 ohms at 1600 watts, and 16 ohms at 225 watts. So if you're the sound technician and you are asked to advise what kind of speaker should be bought for you to connect series, for you to be able, for this amplifier to be able to be maximized without anything blowing, at the end of this lesson or this class, you should be able to answer, to have that answer. So one thing that you should look at, remember we said, if our speaker is 350 watts, uh, then our amplifier should be double that, meaning... Our speaker is, remember power, power is, will be equally distributed. So it will be 350 times 2. Seven hundred watts. So our amplifier, our speaker, the speaker that you're going to buy should be 700 watts. Not necessarily 700, but it should be close to 700 watts. So we have our speaker manual here and we should look at uh, the one that is close to 700 watts. So we have 45 watts, 800, 1600, and 225. Meaning, our 800 watts for now will work. So this one, the watts we found. But now, we are now going to check the, the ohms. For example, in, uh, in series connection, so we have uh, our speaker, one speaker is 8 ohms, and the other one is... Uh, 8 ohms. So when you connect in series, you have the formula is R1 plus R2 is equals to R total. So the same as 8 ohms plus 8 ohms is equals to 16 ohms. So if we are connecting this in series, we should have our speaker at 16 ohms and our watts at 700 watts. So we go back to our speaker manual, 8 ohms. So the one that we got 800 ohms, this it's 4 ohms. Uh, the one that we got at 800 watts is 4 ohms. And we are looking for the one that is, yes, 800 is fine, but the ohms is 16, and we are looking for 4. Meaning, for this amplifier, and for this amplifier, it means that uh, our speaker, we, ca we don't have any speaker in our manual for us to connect. So we move on to the next uh, speaker connection, and it is parallel speaker connection. So we move on to our next uh, type of speaker connection and it's the parallel speaker connection. So with the speaker, with the parallel speaker connection, we have uh, 
our two positive sides for the speakers, our two positive terminals connected to our main, and then our two negative connected to the one for amplifier. Now with this one, we still have our 8 ohms for every speaker and 350 watts for every speaker. And we are back to our speaker manual that uh, we had the same with the parallel with this series speaker connection. So what we are trying to find out is uh, what with this, what is the best kind of speaker? What is the best kind of amplifier that we should buy? So uh, with this, remember with the series speaker connection, we added, we have our 350 watts, which, which is still, which will still remain the same. So it's 350 watts times 2, 700 watts. We said doesn't have to be 700 watts. Anything close to 700 watts is fine. So we have our 800 watts. It's fine. Now with the ohms, this is how you count it. Remember with the series, we were adding 8 plus 8 is equals to 16. And we didn't have a speaker, uh, an amplifier that is 16, that is 16 ohms and 800 watts or 700 watts. Now in parallel, we, we divide 8 plus 8. Now we divide 8, divide by 2, because there are two speakers with the same ohms. So 8 divided by 2 is equals to 4 ohms. Remember with the series we were adding, this one we are dividing. So we should look for us for an amplifier that is 4 ohms and 700 watts. Now we go back to our manual. We go back to our manual and try to look for the best if our if our speaker is the best for this. So uh, we have a speaker that is 4 ohms and 800 watts. Meaning even for the ohms we are good to go. Uh, so that is how you co you if you are connecting more than two speakers, whether in series or parallel. That is the best way to find what kind of connection you should use, whether series or parallel. Now with the next, uh, the next point we are going to move to is the series plus parallel connection. And we are going to find out how, how that, that connection, connection works. works. So far we've learned about uh, speaker connection in series and in parallel. So we are going to learn uh, about the last one, which is the series parallel connection. So this one is an addition of the parallel connection and the series connection. So what we are going to do is, we are going to connect these two speakers in parallel. We are going to connect these two speakers in parallel. And then the outputs to go to the, uh, the outputs from the amplifier are going to be connected in series with the two speakers. So uh, when you do that, you remember the connection that the mathematics that we were doing while connecting series and parallel. So that's the same that we are going to do for us to find out uh, if this type of series will be accommodated by an amplifier. So we go to the parallel connection, we start with the parallel connection. So what we did here, we did 8 divided by 2, which is 4 ohms. So meaning a total of this is 4 ohms, and a total of this is 4 ohms. And then now, the two are connected in series, so meaning it's 4 plus 4, which is equals to 8. So what does this mean? The total RT in series parallel is 4 ohms. So if we were doing this type of connection, you remember, if we were doing this type of connection, you remember uh, our speaker manual uh, had 4 ohms and 700 watts. So if we were doing this type, series parallel will still work because we will have a total of 4 ohms. So uh, that is how we, we match our speakers if you are looping your speakers, whether in series or parallel or series parallel. You can see from this channel, we've connected 4 speakers and we still have 4 ohms. Which, is which can be accommodated. So it's up to you to know what kind of method you want to use or what kind of connection that you want to use as long as you do the mathematics. Otherwise, we said if it's below 4 ohms, it will blow your speaker above 16 ohms. I mean, it will. if it's below 4 ohms, it will blow your amplifier. Above 16 ohms will blow your amplifier. So with that, now you should be able to know how to connect your speakers, whether in series, in parallel, 
or in series parallel connection. Thank you so much for joining us. We are so glad that you could join us uh, for our episode 2. I hope I've answered your questions, the one you asked after the episode 1 video. May God bless you and may remember to subscribe. See you for the next episode. God bless.